right guys, this is Mark from Park Flyers RC. Today we're looking at the Typhon Grom. This is a new product from Arma, 118 scale four wheel drive buggy. This is my best selling product in the hobby shop and I think it has the highest customer satisfaction out of any RC car I've ever sold. This is $139.99. It is priced that everybody can have this car. It is really a good value. You get a lot for your money here. Uh, so this is a 118 scale car that drives like the big boys. It drives like a 110 scale buggy. And uh, that is because Arma took the time to really put the work into the design. Uh, it's very, very nice. Now, uh, one thing they did to the suspension on the car, uh, as opposed to the original Granite Grom, they use now 80 weight oil. Now 80 weight oil makes the car uh, handle a lot better. Uh, it makes the suspension work more like a real car, like a bigger car. If you see the reaction time is a little bit uh, delayed, that means the damping is there, just like a 110 scale car. And it does show when you take it out and drive it. Um, if you drive this through the rough stuff, you'll see the suspension working uh, just like a bigger car. It feels very mature, it feels very polished, and it's a lot of fun to drive. Um, it is very important to note that uh, RC car manufacturers are often producing kits that need uh, fixes or minor things uh, when you open them out of the box and it kind of get it's getting frustrating for a lot of my customers because when they buy a product they want it to be you know a good product out of the box without any modifications I can tell you that this is one of those products this is a product you don't have to modify it doesn't need modifications it has no recalls there's nothing deficient about anything in this design. It is just something that was designed very well. And uh, even the things that they include in the box are very polished. And let's go through some of them. The controller is an SL2 radio. Um, one of the things I like about this is it functions like a, a, an expensive radio uh, because it has dual rates for steering. It also has multiple um, throttle settings on the back of the radio. You can see it's 50, 75, and 100, so you can control how much power you're getting. That's good if you have a kid uh, and, and he's driving the car. You don't want him to have full throttle, so you dial it down to 50%, and he's not gonna um, he's not gonna wreck the car so quick. Uh, but yeah, this performs like a regular radio. It's a very nice feel in the steering wheel. It's got a nice foam um, donut around the wheel, so it feels it is a budget radio, and it but it feels expensive. I really like it a lot. Arma did their homework with this one, and it is a very, very nice complement to the car. In the kit, they include a really nice uh, set of um, products. Now, the first one is going to be the Spectrum battery. It's a 1400 milliamp 30C. It's got the G2 connector on it. Uh, the benefit of the G2 connector is it eliminates the bounce plug. It just looks cleaner, and it's a nicer overall design. I love the battery. I love how it has a hard case. Uh, your kids are not going to puncture this thing. It is dangerous. Uh, the soft packs are pretty dangerous, and you don't want those punctured. This is going to prevent that with the hard pack. Very nice. It goes right into the chassis, and it's beautiful. You get about 25 minutes of runtime on moderate throttle. On heavy throttle, you'll probably get like 18 to 20. So really good runtime, very good battery, and we love it. Second thing I really like what they did with the kit is they gave you a weighted tool. It's a nice hefty tool. It's got a good weight to it. Two millimeter hex on the end. This, um, this is also another feature of the car. Two millimeter screws on the whole car. So you only need one tool really to work on the car. Uh, they include a 1.5 for, um, for the pinion screw and that's basically that. For the charger, they give you a G2 charger. Uh, automat completely automatic, one plug in the charger, USB-C. Uh, plug and then, then you, you have, have a USB-C to USB-A adapter and it's all included in here Very nice touch on the kit and we also love that as well uh, You have shock clips uh, for adjusting the suspension. They work very well You can actually uh, tailor the car to the to the way that you like it to drive with these little clips and it's a nice touch on the car as well Another cool thing is the this uh, box that it comes in it serves as like a little uh, carrying case it has two levels in it uh, separated by cardboard so you can keep your all your controllers your batteries and charger on the bottom level and then the car on the top level it opens really nice and like I said this makes a, as a great carrying case so let's talk about the car a little bit um, now the most important feature of any RC car obviously is the handling the handling on this car is what you would call almost perfect it, because of the shape of the car it's a buggy shaped four-wheel drive 
low, low center of gravity, it's low to the ground. You got the wing on the back to help with downforce. And the body doesn't uh, cause any lift in any weird way when you jump this thing. So it's going to be the all-around all perfect performer in every category. The most addictive feature of any car is a car that jumps great. This car is one of those cars. It absolutely jumps above its class. And what I mean by that is you could jump it off anything. Um, you can take it to heights that you normally wouldn't take a 118 scale car. And that's because the way that the car is um, designed, it has 50-50 weight balance, and you have these small rotating wheels on each corner. It acts kind of like a little gyro. So when you jump the car, the throttle manipulates the car in the air, and you can actually see it moving. It's very responsive to the throttle, but in a very progressive way. So it's not like darty in the air, and it doesn't, um, it doesn't do anything strange. It feels, like I said, it feels like there's a gyro in it when you're jumping it. Um, to prove this point, uh, I went to the Jackson RC Raceway where I usually um, uh, run the races over there. We just were opening it and getting it ready for the season. So I said, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it there. I'm going to jump it off everything we could find. So the first thing we jumped it off was the bleachers. And it went right off, no problem. I love the way it just it just launched off the, the edge of it and it was just perfectly straight. Uh, then we did a nice launch off a tall retaining wall a few feet up and it handled it no problem. Now the next thing we did was we launched it off the driver's stand which is about 10 to 12 feet up and full throttle just right off the steps and it landed perfectly and it was there was no damage. So but because of the way it jumps uh, with that 50-50 weight distribution um, and the way that it always lands, it always self-corrects in the air and it doesn't, it kind of doesn't allow it to land crooked. Uh, you're probably not going to sustain, sustain a lot of damage when you're jumping it. And so jumping is a very big feature of this car and it is super, super enjoyable. And like I said, this car will jump above its class. You could jump things normally that you wouldn't really jump. We brought a little ramp to the track and we did consistent back-to-back -back jumps. There wasn't any retakes that I had to do. It wasn't like anything... Uh, had to be reshot. I just kept hitting the ramp and it kept jumping perfect. There was a couple jumps where uh, I hit the jump a little crooked on the side and it, you know just holding the throttle the car itself leveled and it was just you know landing on all fours so it was it's a really pleasure to jump and it's uniquely uh, just it has a unique characteristic of jumping perfect almost every time. Now when we ran this thing through the rough stuff um, just on level ground going through little divots and rocks and everything you saw the suspension working very nicely it kind of felt like a 110 scale buggy and it gave that feeling of just finesse and very very it felt like a polished product you buy like one of those uh amazon special cars they have these cars now they're offering for the same price as this kit right around like 140 150 and they're these brushless cars uh, now they're quick and everything because they're brushless powered but the fit and finish and the linkage, um, the play in the linkage, and just the overall way they feel, they just feel very unstable. They're not really fun. They feel darty. You see that the suspension moves up and down very quick. They're not progressive like this. Um, so it, for me, those cars have no appeal. Uh, so um, I would avoid those cars. Now, you can put a brushless motor in this car. Uh, I don't think it needs it. I think the motor that comes with it is appropriate for the chassis. Once you go above this power, uh, you're going to really um, affect the way the car drives. But if you have to have brushless, I would recommend using a Traxxas radio with TSM. It's a very clean and neat system. If you own a Traxxas car, you don't need to buy the radio. You just get a receiver and you'll bind it with your radio. Uh, those, I think, have 20 model memory. So you could bind it with the radio and have just an extra car on the radio. It will handle... Uh, really, really well. It will not. Um, it will not act like a, a 118 scale car when you drive it. It'll be very, very stable. And uh, we definitely, you know, recommend if you're going to go brushless, use just use a, a Traxxas TSM or an AVC radio just to keep the car more stable. Now, the motor that comes with this car, uh, Arma did a really good job in sourcing it. It's a very, very powerful motor, um, and for its for basically what it is, and. Uh, they include a fan that's placed in front of the motor, and that is done for longevity. Uh, the, well, a cool brushed motor will last a lot longer than one that's not cooled, and because of the long chassis, Arma had enough room to fit that fan in. The fan has a really nice RPM to it. It's not a junk fan. It really works. 
And like I said, it cools the motor down and it runs really nice. If you want a dot more speed out of this, you can go to a 19 tooth pinion. I don't recommend going any higher than that. Uh, you're gonna compromise the, the longevity of your motor, but a 19 tooth pinion is a slight upgrade. Uh, it might actually help um, offline acceleration because it'll dial down that torque a little bit and it'll tame it and then you'll have a little bit more on the top end. So I think that's a nice upgrade. 19 tooth pinion, we have them on our website. You can check the check them out in a link below and uh, if you want to order it that's fine now they do offer one upgrade for this car and it's the metal differentials a lot of people are uh, breaking those and um, just to let you know when you do um, jump the car if you if you're holding the throttle as the car is landing you're not going to break the differential outdrive cups right away but eventually you will so if you're going to jump the car especially like you see like we did in this video you want to let go of your throttle right before the car hits the ground. If you do that, you'll be like me. You'll have a car with no breakage. This has the original plastic uh, outdrive cups in it, and I haven't even uh, uh, I haven't damaged them. And I'm taking some pretty pretty uh, big jumps, and uh, like I said, no damage. So it is it is according to the way you drive it. But they do have that upgrade if you want it. Uh, if you're going to go brushless, I do recommend getting uh, the metal uh, differentials. They come two in a bag. I think they're about forty bucks. Uh, we'll put the link below. We have a lot of those in stock. Uh, they also make aluminum shocks for this car. They're not going to add to the performance, and they may be slightly heavier than the stock shocks. I would just leave this alone. Like I said before, uh, the, they put 80 weight oil in the shocks in this car, and it makes the car uh, suspension very, very plush and very progressive. It feels like a regular RC car. Like I said, those Amazon specials and even the granite that they had, the, the granite that came out before this had 30 weight oil. It was very bouncy. It would bounce like very fast and it w didn't feel good. And that, uh, just to make a note, if you do have a granite grom, put 80 weight oil in your shocks and it'll actually do this and it'll handle much better. Um, it, I know 80 weight may not make sense to a lot of people, but the way, the, uh, the way that the springs and the shock bodies are designed with the pistons, 80 weight just works perfect in this car and you'll have to trust me on that. Uh, now, as far as the appealability of the car, that this has a, a massive appeal because of the price. You know, with the economy the way it is and everything going up, this is one thing that uh, just provides a tremendous amount of value. If you can't afford or you just don't want to spend a lot of money uh, on one of your kids and you just have a certain budget you need to be under under 150, uh, you just get this car, 140 bucks, and it doesn't break the bank. It does everything that a RC car. Uh, should do and it does it very well handling jumping durability all that you get all that for $139.99 and just to top it off the car looks absolutely beautiful now this is one of the best clipless cover designs that I've ever seen the release is on the front of the cover there is a lever here it's just basically you push it in and, and then up and you lift this up and it's basically held in the rear shock tower with a little tab you pull it forward and it just comes out now the the not only is this easy to remove and just so elegant the way it operates it's extremely light so they put very lightweight components on the car a lot of their clipless bodies are super heavy uh, the granite rom is one of those very very heavy very clumsy i didn't like the granite rom the way the cover came on and off uh, but this one is actual uh, this is a masterpiece they should do this on this should be a lesson for all RC car manufacturers to do this on all their cars you have a tab in the back that slides into the rear shock tower and then it basically connects with one little tab in the front absolutely brilliant and it's definitely going to win an award my award uh, for the year best clipless design cover I would say that is a, a really beautiful design and we hope that Arma is going to put that on all their future cars so this is my top recommendation for this year. If you want to come buy a car uh, and you want something that's com completely amazing out of the box and doesn't need any upgrades, the Typhon Grom is a winner. At $139.99, if everybody can afford this thing and there's nobody left out, Arma was very smart in making this brushed and that really did keep the price down. Uh, in a market that where you have all these products that keep going up in price, and everybody's kind of panicking. It's kind of ruining the hobby. This one is really good for the hobby. It gets people into it. It gets people through the door. Very good for the hobby shop sales. And uh, we anticipate a very long run with this car. Uh, now we are making a track in the back of the warehouse. We're gonna be doing racing in the back. And this is definitely gonna be part of our racing program. The Typhon Grom is gonna be a car that's gonna be raced. We're gonna have a lot of fun and uh, it's gonna lend itself to racing because of its balance, its poise and its durability. It has a lot of appeal to it. 
and I hope that Arma builds on this design and releases more products like it. If they do, we're going to sell a lot of these things and uh, we're going to be uh, do very well. All right, so one another standout feature of this car is the steering servo. The steering servo is a Spectrum uh, SX110. It has brass internal gears, and uh, that is really a nice inclusion that Arma gave you for in that $130 price. They're giving you a metal geared servo, and that does really prevent a lot of the breakage that happen on the cheaper cars. Uh, very, very nice performance. It is a third generation design. Their original SX servo wasn't that great. They came in the Mini B and the Mini T. Uh, they would break often. Uh, this is definitely a step above and it, uh, Arma does show that they keep continuously uh, improving their products and the SX110 is outstanding. If you do have an older Arma product, a 118 scale car and you wanna upgrade the steering, uh, I would recommend getting the SX110. It fits where the older servo uh, did fit. I think it was the 108. Um, but yeah, that is definitely a great feature of this car. Another feature I'd like to talk about is the chassis. So the chassis is very, very well designed. Uh, if you look at it here, you'll see that the chassis uh, is basically has isolation for the drivetrain and they seal the, there's a top plate that seals the top of it and it really keeps the dirt out. Very, very smart design. It eliminates the need for a, uh, a cover and uh, it really is nice. The way that, by the way, speaking of the cover, the way that the cover uh, goes onto the chassis with this channel, it isolate, also locks out the dirt. So you're not gonna get that typical dirt buildup that you would on a regular car. Uh, that is a nice feature of this car. And like I said, keeping the ability to keep dirt out with the cover is fantastic. And it definitely adds to the appeal. On the motor, they give you a really nice heat sink. Uh, like I said, in addition to the fan in front of it, that makes a very, very cool motor. And like I said before in the video, you can go up to a 19 tooth pinion because of that. I think the car drives a dot better and it has a little bit more appeal with the 19 tooth pinion. Uh, I would upgrade to that right away. All right, so let's talk about the suspension design. So Armour really took their time with this one. If you look in the front, you have double wishbone suspension. You have beautiful caster blocks. The way that this all integrates, it is a very, very good, very good and well-balanced car. It handles absolutely phenomenal. Like I said before, it handles like a 110 scale car and it is something that is unique in this category. Usually, like I said, these cars are, you know, the 118 scale category is flooded with Chinese cars. They all handle like crap. They have no sophistication in their suspension. They're very basic and simple. Um, and this car is an exception. Uh, when you're driving this car, you're gonna see it right away. The suspension and the chassis design lends itself to a very, very mature and sophisticated drive. And we really, really think people notice this because people uh, are, that buy this car are often coming in and buying another one for a family member and they're really enjoying it. There is a very big following for this car and uh, it's growing every day. Uh, there's not a day that goes by that I don't sell either a car or an upgrade for this car. And like I said, we're getting a lot of phone calls and a lot of interest in this car. And it, people are noticing what Arma is doing. They really are putting a lot of engineering in, in, even into their small cars, which is really, uh, it's refreshing to see that. A lot of times uh, a big company like Horizon Hobby would just have these little smaller cars and you can tell the engineering wasn't really going into them. I don't know if you guys remember the Dromita line. Um, that was one of those lines that uh, really, you know, you can tell they were toys. This does not feel like a toy. That is one of the things I can tell you about the Typhon Grom is it does not feel like a toy. Um, anyway, this is Mark from parkflyers.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share this with friends and leave comments below. We will see you on the next review. Have a great day and be well.